All right, today we are going to talk about another great WPF control, and that is the group box. All right, um, so group box is used to group the items that are related together in a box. It gives a nice visual appearance that tells us these items are part of the same group. So I'm gonna do a couple of examples, one with drag and drop and the other one with using the grid layout. So to start off, I'm gonna split this grid into two columns. So grid that column definition, and then column definition for first column and another column definitions for the second column. So we have two columns in our grid. And next, I wanna resize this. And for the first part of this example, I'm not gonna use the XAML, I'm gonna use drag and drop from the toolbox. Okay, let's enlarge our window. Let me grab our toolbox and let's start adding some checkboxes. Let's say we have a sandwich shop, okay? That's our example. We're gonna use a sandwich shop example today. All right, I'm gonna copy and paste this checkbox. And then copy these two and paste two times. So let's say we have a bunch of bread types, meat types, uh, veggies, cheeses, all that stuff. And if you just use plain check boxes all over the place, it becomes really more complicated to select the items. So instead, we're going to use a group box to put the items that are related together so that it gives a visual um, appearance that makes things easier to select uh, whatever the customer wants. So let me go ahead and drag and drop a group box and let's start doing it. Okay, I'm going to resize this. So the group box has a header and frame. So let me change the header. So this one I want this to be bread types. So I'm gonna have a few breads, bread types here where a customer can select. So let's uh, accidental group box there. Um, but um, so the group box can only have one child element. So we can only put one item here, but that item doesn't have to be checkbox. We can drag and drop a canvas in there that we can, where we can have multiple child elements, right? So I'm gonna, oops, what did I just do? Okay, that works too. All right, so actually let me delete that canvas and redo it. Let me check the layout of the canvas. If I change this to auto, auto, nope, that doesn't work. Hmm, all right, so I'm gonna get rid of the canvas. Let's try again. Drag and drop. 
Sizing there. I think I should have made my group X a little larger. No, let's do that. All right, that should be now. All right, I think we're good. All right, so now this is a group box that holds the bread type. So I'm going to um, actually let me change the font size on these um, checkboxes. I'm going to go to text and change the font size to something like 16. Okay. I'm going to drag and drop this inside my canvas. So Visual Studio tells me I need to press the, as I'm holding my mouse pad, I'm going to press the Alt key to drop inside the canvas. So now actually I don't have to, I don't even need these. I can just copy and paste this one here. All right, so we have three checkboxes. Let me rename these. Go back to properties and change the content to, let's say this is an Italian bread. Next one, let's do wheat. And let's have an um, herbs. All right, so these are bread. Let's get a background color to the canvas as well. All right, that goes nice with the bread types. And right, let me move this over a little bit over to this corner. And I'm going to copy and paste my group box now to do the meets. So let's change the content and the header for this group box. We get a different color too. Okay. That's fine. Even lighter. Okay. So let's go ahead and change our header content. I'm inside the canvas actually right now. Let me select the group box again and change this to meets. And inside here we want beef, chicken, and ham. All right, so we got meats. Let's copy and paste this one more time, the veggies. And let's change the content of these checkboxes to, let's say, lettuce. Tomato. And pickles. Okay, let's build and run this once. Uh, the background color. We change the background color to something greenish. Makes less sense. 
There you go. And let's run this. So our sandwich shop is coming along. So we got our breads. We can select one breads, one of the uh, meats, and we can actually select more than one here as well. So, okay, that's how you do with drag and drop using the group box. So the next example I want to do is with the grid layout where you can do place the control inside the rows and columns. So I'm going to collapse some of this stuff. I need that uh, XAML window now. So I'm going to place another grid inside here. Go right below the last group box and add another grid. I'm going to give this a uh, bunch of rows, well, three, four rows, maybe. Three, oops. Actually, I placed this grid. The second grid is going to be inside the second column of the first grid, the main grid. So grid dot column, it's going to be one. And we have three rows. Let's add one more, I think. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna use a Again, group box. This time I'm going to use XAML code to do that. Get a header of um, bread type. And then inside our group box, this time instead of canvas, I want to use a stack panel. A checkbox. Um, content of Italian. And copy and paste this a couple of times. Save some time. Italian wheat and herbs. All right. So we have our group box right here. Let's get a background color as well. Let's get a background color to stack panel actually. So background color. Let's do. Light blue. All right, let's run this. Actually, I changed the font size as well, but all right. So we have beautiful, nice uh, group boxes with a border, with a header, and um, our sandwich shop is making progress. So, well, actually, the idea was the group box. So now you have a good idea how, uh, how to use group box. So the difference between the two, with drag and drop and using the grid layout with stack panel, it's resizing. So with uh, when you resize your window, the second one resizes with the window, whereas the first one doesn't because it's fixed height and width. So depending on what you need, you can select any of them. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, take it easy.